Parents should love their children equally. Amy was an unplanned child. Her parents were just in their 20s when she was born. They had just graduated and wanted to pursue a career. The birth of the child seemed like a huge obstacle in their plans. Amy's grandparents decided to take care of their grandparents. As a child, Amy was very polite and obedient. She never got the attention of her parents. But thanks to their grandparents who loved her truly. Her grandparents were the ones who stopped her mother from aborting Amy. Soon, Amy's parents found decent jobs and got settled. Amy was five when her grandparents passed away. She started living with her mom and dad. Even though her parents were settled by then, they still didn't pay much attention to Amy. They hired a nanny to take care of her. Soon, Amy's sister Nora was born. When Nora was born, her parents were full of joy and happiness. They paid all of their attention to Nora. Amy was left alone, but she didn't mind. Amy was a very independent child. She had learned how to take care of herself. Even though she was ignored by her parents, she never loved them any less. One day Amy asked her parents for some money to buy some new clothes. Her mother scolded her saying they were going through some financial problems. The next day Amy saw her parents and her sister, Nora, in a store nearby. They were buying clothes for Nora. Amy ran back home and cried out loud. She couldn't understand what wrong she had done. Amy studied in a gov school. While Nora was enrolled in a private institute for huge money. However, Amy didn't mind it and concentrated on her studies. Soon, she was called by a decent university to continue her studies with paid accommodation. Amy could have joined better universities, but her parents didn't help financially. The university was out of town. While Amy left home for university, her parents didn't even care to notice. After a week, Amy received a call from her mom. Where are you, Amy? Her mom asked. Amy, mom. Didn't I tell you that I was leaving town for university? Mom, so you are not living with us anymore. Can we give your room on rent? Amy was shocked by the lack of love from her mother. She didn't even have a room in the house anymore. She replied politely, sure mom. Do whatever you want. I love you. Amy was never missed by her parents. Whenever she returned home in the holidays, her parents were away. There was no one to welcome her. Amy graduated with good marks and got a great job in a reputed company. While Amy worked day and night to move up the ranks, her sister Nora joined in a private university. Her parents even hired the best tutors for Nora. Soon, Amy became CEO of the company and was earning huge amounts. One day her mother called and said, Amy, we are in huge financial problems. We sold our car, house and now we might go bankrupt. Please send us some money dear, we really need it. She didn't ask if Amy was okay or not. She just called for money. Amy still didn't care and sent her mother a huge amount. The next day Amy called her mother to ask if the money was enough. But they didn't receive her call and never called back. A week later, her father called her and said, Amy, dear, we need more money. The last time you sent us was not enough. Please help us. We are in deep trouble. Amy agreed and she was about to send most of her savings to her father. But before that, she decided to have a check on them. Her parents were not on social media. But she found her sister Nora on Instagram. What she saw there was shocking. There was a picture of her father with the car they told they had sold. There were also pictures of them partying in big clubs and restaurants. The photos were recent. 
Amy couldn't believe it. Her own parents were deceiving her. She had enough of it, and she decided to never care for them anymore. Amy changed her numbers, moved to the UK, and started living there. While her parents eventually went bankrupt for real, Nora never graduated or got a decent job. Amy never met her parents again for the rest of her life. How different things would have been if her parents had just loved their children equally.